Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, the five student needs from William Glasser and Choice Theory. As teachers, you can address the needs of your students and create a positive classroom culture. William Glasser argues that all behavior serves a purpose. In his work, he describes five basic needs that essentially motivate any of the various types of behaviors that you'll witness in the classroom. His ideas are quite simple. If a student is bored, they'll begin to act out. Young children and adolescents are subject to their emotions. And many times, student feelings are a result of these needs just not being met. You may see a student despondent and sad. Think to yourself, what basic human needs are not being met on behalf of the child? Now let's identify the five basic needs described. First up is survival. Survival is the most basic of all student needs. Before a student can learn anything, their basic needs of food and shelter must be met. When we talk about survival, we mean that students must have shelter, food, and nurturing. How could you possibly expect a student to focus on their schoolwork when they don't know where their next meal is coming from? or where they're going to sleep at night. If you are a teacher, you must do your best to get students help. First, make sure these children have food to eat and places to sleep. Reach out to various services. The next basic need to explore is belonging. Belonging is described as having affiliations with other students. Students should feel that they are a valued part of the classroom and community. Every student wants to be a part of the group. Even the most rebellious students, deep down, want to be accepted by their peers. As a teacher, create opportunities through collaborative learning for students to form bonds with one another. The next basic need on the list is freedom and offering choices. Students must be given the opportunities to make their own choices and take responsibilities for the choices that they have made. Now obviously, freedom doesn't mean letting students do whatever they want. Teachers just need to give their students a little bit of a voice, solicit some feedback from their students, and offer them choice in their assignments. Help students become independent and self-directing. On to the fourth basic need empowerment. Students want to feel powerful in their decisions and they want to feel that their decisions make a difference. Students should not feel that they are owned or controlled by the school system. Each person desires to be a master of their own destiny. And youngsters especially don't really have a feeling that they have power over their lives. Too often, teachers engage in contentious arguments and aggressive confrontations as they get involved in a power struggle with students. Every once in a while, empower your students, but not too often. Now, on to the last need mentioned, fun and enjoyment. Don't underestimate the importance of having fun in the classroom. Students need to have fun in the classroom every once in a while. Don't be afraid to make learning a fun experience. Don't be afraid to inject a laugh into your lesson every once in a while. Allow the students to play novel learning games. Teachers need to make that effort to make their classrooms an enjoyable place. Throw a birthday party for your students. Have celebrations, whatever you have to do to make it fun. Now, remember, students behave in a certain way to meet their needs. As a teacher, neglecting to meet your students' needs will lead to a disruptive and dysfunctional classroom. By understanding these needs and addressing them, teachers will understand student behavior and create a positive classroom culture. Right now, I wanna say please subscribe to my channel, check the description link below for resources, and please link and share this video.